Hello, son. Where have you been? I was out. No fooling. I thought you were sitting on that sofa all this time. Say, what are you all dressed up for anyway? I told you I was out. You had to put on them clothes to go out? Well, if you're going to go out, you're supposed to put on some clothes. <laughs> you want me to get arrested or something? All I know is that there was no supper. I left you something in there on the stove. All you had to do was heat it up. I fixed you some meatloaf and okra. Okra? You hate okra. I hate it, but I didn't know you did. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, it's slimy, ain't it? Right. I don't think that no more. Say, Pop, now I work hard all day. When I come home, I expect to have a hot meal waiting for me. Now, I came home tonight, and there was none. Now, what do we learn from this little lesson? <laughs> we learn from this little lesson that both of us hate okra. <laughs> well, I expect to have a hot meal waiting for me. And you always have one. Well, there wasn't none tonight. Well, here. Try some juji fruits. <laughs> I don't want no juji fruits. I want something that's gonna stick to my ribs. Well, they don't stick to your ribs, but they sure stick to your teeth. <laughs> oh, may I ask where you've been? Went to the movies. The movies, huh? Yeah, down to paradise. Two features, 49 cents. Two westerns. It was a Clint Eastwood festival. Uh, both pictures was good too. A uh, fist full of rain and hat full of dollars. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Pop? How long do you think I'm gonna put up with this, huh? You at the movies with Juji Fruits and me at home with okra. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't do it that often. Well, supper's been late ten times this month. Now, where else do you go during the day? To a topless bar? You shut your mouth. Now, you know good and well I'm an avid Baptist. <laughs> well, all I know is that one of these days you're gonna wake up and find that your only means of support has flown the coop. You're not only working for me, you know. You're working for yourself. Yeah, but I could do a lot better if I was on my own. You really think so? I know so. Well, son, maybe I have been holding you back. Maybe you should go on out and do what you have to do, cuz I don't want to hold you back, honest. I know that, Pop. Listen, I got teed off cuz there was no supper, so let's forget it. No, we can't forget it. See, tonight, well, let me say, when I went to the movies, I didn't go alone. I went with a lady. Oh, that's great. I mean, who goes to the movies alone during the day? Guys that are out of work and winos. <laughs> but you're not listening. I am listening to you, Pop. Now, you went to the movies with a woman, you saw a double feature, you bought some juji fruits, and you forgot about my supper. Now, I blew up, but I'm sorry. It's all over now, so let's forget it. No, wait a minute. Let's don't forget it. See, what I'm trying to say is, this lady that went to the movies with me... Yeah? Well, I'm getting married again. <laughs> You're kidding me. See? They took in the mission, everybody went out and got some refreshments, and I had just enough time to buy these juicy fruits and ask her to marry me. I don't believe that, huh? I've known her a long time. She's a widow, and she's nice, and, well, she wants to get married, too. She does, huh? See, we, we're compatible, her and I. We're really compatible. See, I'm a Sagittarian, and she's a Leo. See, Sagittarian is the hunter, and Leo is the lion. So, I got me a lion. It sounds more like she's Pisces the fish and you got yourself a barracuda. I thought you'd be happy with the news. Well, I'm not. I think it's ridiculous. You're too old to get married, Pop. You're 65. So what? Cary Grant got married again when he was in his 60s. Yeah, but you're not Cary Grant. I'm not General Grant either. 